Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the R9 280X fares in 2016. Now if you're building a budget gaming rig today, if you look at a lot of the reviews online, the no brain choice seems to be going with a GTX 1050 or a 1050 Ti. Now these are fantastic cards, but the only issue with them is that it's very very hard to pick them up, especially in the UK, for the recommended retail price. So today we're going to be asking the question if it's maybe better value to pick up a higher end GPU from a generation or two back. Now the R9 280X that's currently residing in my budget gaming rig, it cost me around about £80 on eBay. Now this significantly undercuts the latest range of budget orientated cards from both Nvidia and AMD. But obviously before making any sort of recommendation if this card is still viable for 2016, we're going to put it through a few benchmarks. So my budget gaming rig represents a fairly average system with a quad core Haswell Core i5-4590 with its clock speed locked at 3.7GHz across all four cores, 8GB of value, DDR3 RAM and running on Windows 7 Professional. The benchmarks that we're going to be running each of these games is going to be 1080p and the settings will be indicated in the corner of the video. The first game tested was Fallout 4. Uh, we tested this on the Ultra preset with God Rays set to low and we averaged just above 60 FPS with a minimum frame rate of 54 FPS. Next up was Skyrim Remastered and just like Fallout 4 it was run on the Ultra preset with God Rays set to low and again we averaged just slightly above 60 FPS, this time with a minimum FPS of 55. GTA 5 was run on high settings with a few of the options like texture detail and shadow detail set on very high and we've seen an average FPS of about 63 FPS with this but with a minimum of 49 FPS and it should be noted that on GTA 5 with the memory counter and the options we were approaching the 3 gigabyte VRAM limit. Finally Battlefield 1 was tested on the ultra preset and again we managed a locked 60 FPS with this setup. So there you have it folks, overall the R9 280X is still a really good performer, especially in this price bracket. All the games that we played at 1080p was, we were able to play them at a near enough locked 60fps and it's really going to be down yourselves if you think that spending that little bit extra money for a new product is worth the premium that you have to pay over buying a used high-end GPU from a few years ago. Anyway folks, thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe and like button, and if you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And I'll see you again next time.